Every day, prices of the different products we consume go up and down for many reasons. But how can we know how much and when each of them varies? This is what INA does. INA calculates the Consumer Price Index, the indicator usually known as a CPI, each month, whose objective is to measure price variations of the products consumed by households in Spain. How is it calculated? About 200 employees visit different commercial establishments throughout Spain in order to collect the prices of the most consumed household items. Each month, more than 220,000 prices are collected. The selection of items is made by taking into account how much each household spends on them. Thus, the 500 most commonly consumed items were identified as those that make up the so-called shopping basket. These items are divided into 12 groups. And non-alcoholic beverages, alcoholic beverages and tobacco, clothing and footwear, housing, household equipment, health, transport, communications, recreation and culture, education, restaurants, cafes and hotels, and miscellaneous goods and services. In order for the IPC to be useful as measurement tool, it has to be representative and compact. Is it representative? Yes, the shopping basket includes new goods and services appearing on the market and eliminates those considered insignificant. Is it comparable? Yes, because the indices are calculated the same way for all regions and every month. So the price changes can be compared over time or between different regions. In addition, having an harmonized CPI allows for comparisons to be made between price changes in Spain and neighboring countries. What is it for? The CPI is used mainly as a measurement of inflation, but it also has numerous other applications. It is also referred to when renewing real estate rental contracts and as a point of reference in salary negotiation. How and when is it published? Publication of the CPI is in accordance with a pre-established calendar. It is published around the 13th of each month by means of a press release on the INE website, together with more detailed information which may be consulted free of charge.